Hey guys, it is Kugli again with another video and uh, this time I've got the flashing guide for QS9300 KitKat Final for Galaxy S3 so stay tuned. So hey guys, I have uh, gone to the process and these are these are the things which you will need you need the team win recovery project which i am personally using you can also use first recovery or anything like that do the three wipes and you can uh, go ahead with the one i normally use an advanced wipe that be cash cash system also data which i guess should be done i normally system is not required but i normally do that because it is more useful i've already done that so i'm not going to do that again so yeah now again go to your file now swipe and confirm flash it will enable the uh, aroma installer you can see it is qsi9300 for our device here is the first page you can see you have the languages selection pack so you can install in english which i'll be using and it will give you guys a brief description of the rom it is this one final version stock s5 and usb is the themes available so yeah it's only for international s3 so keep that in mind next agree with it because you're not probably going to read that but it's small if you can just read that next now you have an option you can install qs only qs you can install of you install just the kernel without the full flashing if you have already flashed and you want a few things i'll be talking about that more installation of addition applications which is a mo mo uh, which are fro uh, things which you have not installed in the initial uh, uh, installation but you want that you can also do that also install mods which are csc mods you can enable that separately system information and make efs backup if you don't have an efs backup you are a bad person make an efs backup and yeah it will be made made so that is it don't be a bad person make an efs backup so yeah let's get into installing you have two options now partially partial purification and complete cleaning so complete cleaning actually will uh, wipe your sd card also not the external sd card the internal sd card uh, only do it if you have a full backup of your entire sd card I, i'll be going with partial purification because i don't really need that so partial purification is and you have csc csc is actually um a location lock for the updates and stuff it's not going to be bothering much so you can have anything installed i'll be using india because that is the csc if you don't find anything just go for the default one it'll be pretty cool uh, also now you have two options light system modification and hard system modification with a light system modification you can see slightest modification extended menu reboot flashlight in certain uh, in the buttons uh, backup messages for those who prefer stock also you have hard modification with all of these things so i'll be going with hard system modification because if you're flashing a uh, a rom you need more options that is why you're flashing a rom so yeah now this is the uh, kernel selection menu you have stock repack qs v6 which i will not be recommending because it has a few problems like it doesn't support screen mirroring wi-fi direct or power of charging i use wi-fi direct a lot of times and uh, it doesn't really work i'll go for boyfla kernel because boyfla kernel does have a lot of frequent updates i'm not really sure about the 4.4 one but it does have a very good stability i haven't used agni kernel a lot so i'm not really sure about that so yeah let's just go with that now you have option for blotware i would suggest do not enable any of that just disable that you can even disable samsung account i'm not really sure why you would use a samsung account for that just no don't do that so what if you use something you can disable that and you can enable that and flash it along with this rom so pretty cool google apps also you can actually enable google apps if you want to i normally use gmail a lot google drive not google drive chrome a lot um, maps a lot so you can actually enable that these are stuff you can install from play store play store is of course in enabled so you don't really need to flash them right now you can have that later so yeah you also have widgets which are samsung widgets you can also select what all things you want to be flashed uh, yahoo yahoo news yahoo stock s planet s planner accuweather whatever you need if you don't need all of this just disable that because these will be using up a lot of ram and that is not really cool yeah 
Now, these are CSC features. These are something which I would prefer in my ROM because you can have all this enabled and still work that. I really like this. I'll be using all of this. You can read about these. I mean, these are pretty simple. Call button list, home page option, option to terminate. Uh, all of these are available. So you can have that. I really like these. So I'll be enabling that. Next. Now, this is kind of like the uh, advertisement stuff. You can have ads blocked or you can have ads open. So I'll be keeping ads open because that is the way to support the developers. So yay. You have headphone boost, which is uh, the uh, steps for the volume rocker. You, have, you can have 57 volume steps or 50 steps. Uh, 57 is of course higher and you will have more control over your music. So pretty cool. Now this is for the phone application, which is the dialer. You have the numbers and contact stuff. You can have that in the stock configuration, which is the S3 one or the S5 one. I really like the S5, how it looks. So that's really cool. Also the launcher also you can select. You can have Nova launcher, which is the simple basic launcher, or you can have S5 launcher, which is also a really cool one. Uh, I'll be sticking with S5 because I like that. Also file manager can be selected. You can have stock or S5. Uh, up to you video player also you can select up to you um, system interface which is really cool I mean this is the theme you can have stock s3 theme or you can have the stock s5 theme which is still attached with or if you want a USB you can go with a USB and you can have similarly the appearance of both Samsung a USB which is really cool you will kind of feel this as a Google edition phone because yeah it has so that is it in the customization stuff. Now, the way I did it, it will boot up. If you select everything, I mean, I guess there is a bug right now. If you select everything in this menu, uh, yeah, if you select everything in this menu, it doesn't uh, work. I'm not really sure why that is, or it may be a kernel issue also. Your basement will be a problem, so I'm not really sure about that. So I'm going. what I'm going to tell you guys is that if you want something from here, I would suggest you guys flash the ROM with nothing installed, no bloatware, and then flash it again with the option which was here. Remember that option? Yeah, install additional applications and select whatever you want. And make a backup beforehand so yeah make a backup and then install all of this if something doesn't work out just restore it it will be fine it's it'll, it'll work out so yeah I just wanted to tell you guys that so yeah that is it in the installation guy just flashes this out and uh, this will work um, it's a really fast ROM uh, for the most part I'll probably be using this as a daily driver when I really really need this phone to function so yeah so I guess that much is about the video, so please share, subscribe, like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.